Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for Azure PowerShell series. In this video, we will see how to create Azure Resource Manager templates by using Visual Studio Code. So let me just quickly open Visual Studio and take it from there. Okay, well, this is my Visual Studio Code. First, you have to install the Visual Studio Code before you proceed with this uh, Azure Resource Manager template creation. When you're done with the installation of Azure or this Microsoft Visual Studio Code, then press Control, Shift and X. It will pop up with the extensions tab. Right. So if I go for Azure. Azure tool storage, right? Press Control Shift X. This is the extensions marketplace within Azure Studio Code. Azure Resource Manager Tools, right? I want this Azure Resource Manager Tools. Click on Install. It is installing the Azure Resource Manager Tools extension. And after it is done, then I'll show you. You see that it's Azure Resource Manager tools for Visual Studio Code. It's, it is still in preview, but you can do it. Preview means that uh, it is available for public use. And we have to reload the Azure Manager, this Visual Studio Code for the installation to get completed of this extension in Azure Visual Studio Code. So let me just uh, pause the video and see how much time will it take? All right, it says reload to activate. Okay, it is done. Okay, rather than creating a new template from the scratch, I will use the already built in template from Azure Resource Manager template gallery and I will click on file open file and I'll paste the name of this URL from the github and we'll click on open it will ask me to save the JSON file all right so this is schema version this is the uh, the parameters value the metadata the location the variable this is the resource section let me just save this file save this here as so JSON on the desktop. Okay. In the output section, I've added this parameters: storage type string value, reference variable, storage account name. This, and taken from the primary endpoint start blob. This would be my storage URI. This is the URI that when you create storage account it is the default name that you get now you'll have to come into the Azure portal and if you remember I enabled the cloud shell now you will deploy the template that we have created in Visual Studio code uh, by a cloud shell let's see how it goes By going into the advanced settings of this cloud shell, I create the storage. Okay. 
my storage account name was already taken because it is a globally unique name it doesn't matter if it's your portal or your subscription the your name should be globally unique it is creating my storage now uh, as soon as it is done i will it is done okay now i will click on upload documents uh, in the cloud shell I go to my Azure deploy dot JSON. This is my file. It is completed. See this. And I will show when I list on the list command on the cloud shell I see that my Azure cloud deploy.json file it's on cloud drive under my cloud shell now I will paste this you see this what do you want me <coughs> to create the resource group name would be Enter the name of this deployment test deployment. Enter the location Central India. You see this? It says new Azure RM resource group deployment minus name is the deployment name that I have given resource group name with that I have given template file is this. When I do this, hit enter, it will now run and create a storage account for me. And this storage account is getting from here. And if I go up string, it will ask me for the values here. Let's see what it does. It's still running. So this is how you create a Azure Resource Manager template from within the Visual Studio and this is how you deploy it. Either you can deploy it with PowerShell or you can deploy it with uh, the Azure Cloud Shell like I did. So this is done. Now if I go my to all resources and if I keep it a bit down Okay, that is still getting created. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys and this is how you create the Azure Resource Manager template using this Visual Studio code and you can easily deploy it using Azure Cloud Shell on the Azure portal. So till next time, have a great day ahead and I'll see you in the next video.